even though I left my antique booth at the end of January this year, I still have that thought process because I have had my booth for, a, I think it was about three years. And I always try to prepare for the upcoming holidays. I don't think you need to do that as much on, you know, online reselling as you do in the booth. You always have to have that fresh, you know, stuff in there and usually a display for whatever is current, right? So for Father's Day, I was thinking, oh, this would be great to pick up. And, you know, I don't really know if it's going to be marketable online, but in my antique booth, I probably would have sold. It was marked $2 red tag, so I paid a dollar for it. It is a 1960 Sierra, how do you say it, Sirocco piece. It is a plastic and it has this little colonial kind of pilgrim guy on it. I believe he is originally with a woman, you know, it matches this, but they just had the one there. Uh, I probably won't get too much for it. Probably ask maybe about eight to 10. And yeah, hopefully someone will enjoy that. If not, um, yeah, I might just throw it up on my live sale and see how it goes because I, again, I don't really know if there's a market for just this one piece. So I might try it there. <laughs> While I was in the sports section, I came across a bunch of tennis rackets and there were four matching ones. They had this cowhide leather handle and they are made in Taiwan. So that usually indicates late 70s to 80s for me. So I thought they were really neat. They are in pretty good condition. One of these little handles is like cut here that they could just like retie or something. But I looked these up. I've never resold these before. And most of the tennis rackets go for about $15. Where I have a set of four, it should be around the $60 range. So, you know, I paid $8 for the set and I think it's cool to try new things as a reseller. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss them up on eBay and see how they do. Always willing to take best offer as well. But yeah, I thought it'd be a fun little experiment. I really like tin trays and I had seen a tray of some sort on the top shelf. I couldn't see what it was. When I pulled it down, it was this really cute carousel one. I love the pink and blue, navy blue and pink look great together. This is from the year 1990 exactly and it looks like the 90s to me. I remember when people used to have these little carousel figurines in their house. And yeah, so I thought it was really cute. It has just a little teeny bit of wear. There's a little silver spot there from the paint wear. And I think there's a little teeny bit there as well. It's not gonna be a big profitable item. I'll probably, you know, make or sell it for around eight to $10. But yeah, I thought someone would enjoy that. This here was on one of the end caps. It is a super nice gravy boat. It's this beautiful, I would say an olive green ceramic piece here. It's in great condition. They had $3 priced on it. I, I'm not a person that really makes gravy or uses gravy. So I don't really know what I personally could use it for. I kind of wanted to keep it, but I was like, it's not something I want to just keep if I'm not going to use it because I really want someone to be able to use it. It's a great size. You know, a lot of gravy boats you see are probably half the size of this. And yeah, it's fantastic. I really like it. I think it'll probably go for about 18 to $22. It is in amazing condition. I found this beautiful tea set. It is a redware pottery. It's in brown and black. I think it's really gorgeous. I believe they are Japan. They're not marked Japan, but I did see one teapot exactly like this listed and it had been marked Japan on the bottom. I don't know. Sometimes they're not. <laughs> and this was a crazy good deal. They only had $6 for the set. It came with four coffee mugs, a sugar and a creamer and the teapot. Everything seemed to be in almost perfect condition. There is, I think this is just sticker residue because I have taken this off to clean it, um, you know, sanitize it. And it looks like it might be cracked, but I think it's just the sticker residue, honestly. So I think this is in good condition. The only thing I saw for condition issues was this mug here has a chip on the outside. And I don't think it's that serious. Redware is so beautiful that even when it's chipped, it looks nice, right? And so it's on the inside, it's still usable on, you know, the other side. And I just think it's beautiful. So it, these are neat because I do have the little flat thumb, you know, spot. So it's a little easier to have your drink there. The other three mugs are in perfect condition. And other than that, the sugar, just the top of the lid on the handle there has a little bit of a chip. 
but for six bucks, I think that's great. It's still a very usable piece. And I'm trying to think, I think I do want to keep the full set together, the chipped mug i'm gonna just kind of add in as a freebie so i think the mugs would go for about eight dollars a piece but i'll throw that mug in for free so let's do the math <laughs> so this will be about 22 dollars and then four mugs will be eight dollars each but one free so 24 and then the sugar and creamer that does have a chip on the top there. So let's do be about 12 to 15 for that. So that would be 46, 61. So I think I could do probably about 55 to 60 for the full set. It's I'm not looking forward to shipping it all together. I kind of want to piece it out, but I, I think I'm going to try it that way and we will figure out how to ship it. <laughs> I did find this really awesome lamp. You guys saw this in the thrift along with me. It's in this beautiful mustard yellow, has a nice floral on the front here. This was priced $3, but it was red tag. So I only paid $1.50 for it. It does look like I will want to rewire it as an older cord on it, but that's an easy fix. And it doesn't have the finial, but I think I can probably find one of those easy enough as well, but just gonna find a shade for it. I am gonna go ahead and hang on to it. It just looks good with my stuff, so I was excited to find that. Before I checked out, I did find some books that I picked up. I always look at the cookbooks mostly and some of the children's books. The one children's book I got, I don't know, probably some adults would like it too. It's more of an educational book, really. I think it's missing its main sleeve here, but it was only 95 cents. It was red tag, but you know, I think they give me the 95 cent price instead of the dollar <laughs> of the day since it's cheaper. This is called Locomotive. It was put out by Brian Flocka. And so it has this beautiful cover that grabbed my attention right away, but it's mostly about trains and like the railroad. So it has like a lot of information like that in it. And then I'm trying to do a flip through, <laughs> but yeah, it's really cute. The graphics are really nice in it. And I think my boys will really enjoy it. So I got that for them. And the rest are all cookbooks that I grabbed. They didn't have a huge selection of cookbooks, but I still was able to find a few. This one is called Three Bowls Vegetarian Recipes from an American Zen Buddhist Monastery. So it was marked $2, red tag, so I paid a buck for it. And this one, I looked at comps on all these. If you guys are you know, resellers on eBay, or even if you're not, if you have the eBay app, you can click on the search and then click where it has the barcode scan. So you can either take a picture or something or click the barcode and you can just scan the barcode and it will come up with the listings that are available on eBay. And that's a good way to check prices or comps if you want to resell books or if you, you know, see if you want to get a better deal on it. But yeah, I did that with this one, all of them. This one was interesting. There were, I would say there's probably about 15 or 20 of these listed currently on eBay and about half are listed around the $4 price point and the rest, you know, the other half is about the $20 price point. It's so strange to me that there would be such a difference there, but obviously if you guys are interested in this, go grab it for four bucks on eBay, right? <laughs> But yeah, I thought it was a neat little cookbook here. It has like breads and looks like some dressings, some quinoa, you know, some healthy food, some easy, easy, simple recipes to make that are a little bit healthier. So I thought it was a good find. This one is called Healthy Kitchen and it's recipes for a better body, life and spirit. It was only a dollar. These ones sell for about five to seven on eBay. And yeah, it's just another like little healthy, healthier recipe book here. Okay, it looks like that. They do have some photos in it, but it's not photos all the way through. But let's see, you can see some of the photos, some breakfast. <laughs> but yeah, there's not a lot of, of the, you know, examples of the recipes, which I do kind of like, but I appreciate the healthier recipes. And for a buck, I figured that was a good grab. This one here was my favorite one I found. It is a Amish cookbook. It was $3, but half price, so $1.50. 
There are a few of these listed on eBay. They go for about $3.99 to $6.99. There was only about four. So if you are interested, hurry over and check them out. But it's really nice. I like how large the recipes are and it has really neat text. And I don't know, I've always been fascinated with the Amish and I think their recipes, you know, are kind of interesting. They're simple and they probably use pretty healthy stuff, I would imagine. So I look forward to trying some of those out, but yeah. No pictures of the food, but Amish people aren't really into pictures too much anyway, so I didn't really expect it. <laughs> the last cookbook I picked up is something I already own, so I'm going to resell this. They had it marked $5, and when I had you know, been shopping, I kind of didn't even realize that it didn't dawn on me that the you know color tags were on sale. I was just excited to get thrifting. So I was pleasantly surprised when I checked out and I saw everything ringing up, you know, a dollar or half price. And I had picked up quite a bit of the sale, you know, color of the day sales. So $5 yellow tag was $2.50. And these sell for about $15 all day long on eBay. So I know that because I paid full price <laughs> for mine. I think I paid probably like 20 2025, uh, probably about five years ago when I wanted this. A cookbook is called Nourishing Traditions, the cookbook that challenges politically correct nutrition. So it's more of a, if you're into like natural remedies and stuff like that, it's kind of an interesting read. They kind of focus on that kind of um, medicine, you know, using food to, as medicine to, you know, fix your health and stuff. So I thought it was kind of a neat book. It's pretty popular. It still sells quite a bit, so I think I'll be able to sell it and make a little bit off of it. The last thing I grabbed for myself were four of these boxes. They have the old state postcards on them, so there's several states on it. I, like I said, I collect state wear, so I thought these were just too neat. They did have a little bit of damage on them. I think I could just go ahead and tape the corners there. It wasn't too serious where it was ripped. And it does have the, like the little metal file thing in there if I want to put a label on it. So yeah, I grabbed four of those. I don't know what I'm doing with them yet, but I just really like the looks of them. So I couldn't leave them behind. And look, they even had Maine here. <laughs> okay, so this was an incredibly long thrift haul, much longer than I usually go on for, but... What can I say? I was excited to be thrifting again and I did a lot of shopping. <laughs> but yeah, it was really fun. I plan to go back to this Goodwill again. Like I said, not every Goodwill is open in my area. There is a few. This one's only an extra 15 minutes outside of the one that I usually go to. It's kind of weird how they are breaking up the state and counties and everything with what's open and what's not. But we're all trying to make the best of it. I was really excited to go. I'm looking forward to going back again and seeing what else I can find. So stay tuned for another thrift along with me later on this week and my live sale on Wednesday at 7 p.m. I hope you guys can make it. It is my first live sale. I've been going to everyone else's and I've had a lot of fun buying there. I spent quite a bit, <laughs> honestly. And I think I might even do a haul of everything I picked up at the live sales. Thought that might be kind of fun, so. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was way too long. I don't normally do that, but uh, I didn't feel like breaking it up into two videos. It just, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and so we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.